Thanks for tuning in, Alan Ryan here, and today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite books, Surely You Must Be Joking, Mr. Fan Man, by Richard Fan Man, and five lessons that I would like you to take away from this amazing book. So who cares, who's Richard Fan Man? He was a nuclear physicist and someone who worked on the Manhattan Project, has a very curious and inquisitive nature, and someone who has some valuable insights in life that we can all learn from. So let's jump right into it. You won't want to miss number one, so stay till the end to get some great advice from the legend Richard Feynman. So let's start with number five. Find a practical way to apply something that you just learned. This is going to solidify that concept and you'll be able to recall it easier the next time that you need to use it. For example, if you watch my video on how to buy a cryptocurrency and secure your assets, if you go ahead and run through that process right then and there, you're going to be able to recall that information the next time you need to use it. And lesson number four is learn what the rest of the world is like. The change in perspective is worthwhile. Richard Feynman discusses how one of the most important things he did was change from one college to another, which changed his perspective and allowed him to solve problems he never thought he'd be able to solve. So for you, this might be moving to a new city or a new state or trying something new. Those changes in perspectives can unlock some huge opportunities for you. And that brings us to lesson number three, which is my personal favorite. Explain it to me like I'm five. And the reason I love this one is because if you can't explain a complicated topic in a simple way to someone else, chances are you don't understand that topic as well as you think you do. And lesson number two is the first principle is you must not fool yourself and you're the easiest person to fool. And what that means is when you become passionate about something, you can put the blinders on and you can forget about all these little signs along the way that are telling you uh, to slow down or to change paths. It's uh, important to remember that you need to pay attention to the details and analyze what you're doing and not fool yourself. And that brings us to our final and most important lesson from Richard Feynman, and that is don't try to figure out what life is all about. No one has it figured out, no one knows. But most importantly, follow with great passion for what you're interested in and learn it as best as you can, not from textbooks and everything, but from the most rudimentary basic instincts that you possibly can find. Learn it from the ground up with different perspectives from anyone else and become an expert in whatever you're passionate about because no one actually knows what life is all about. And that concludes the five lessons from Richard Feynman's Surely You Must Be Joking, Mr. Feynman. And if you had any other lessons that you picked up from the book yourself, please comment down below. Please like my channel and subscribe if you like this content. And thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.